influenced and gave so much to you know the metal community to the music community um, you know it's just timeless there's their, their songs are just just timeless I mean what what more can you say about it you know I was lucky enough and fortunate enough to tour with Pantera you know when they took my old band nothing face out on tour and uh, it was always a dream that you know I never thought that I'd tour you know with that band but I I got that opportunity and you know, I, I told the story many times, but like my most story. fond moment was uh, he came up on our tour bus and we were hanging and him and Bobby Tongs they taught me a couple new drinks and we went in the back of the bus and <clears throat> my, my last Paul was back there and he picked it up and he started playing it and I had another guitar and, you know, I asked him if he would mind teaching me, you know, the, the riff to By Demons Be Driven off the Vogger record. and. We sat there for about an hour, hour and a half, just jamming, and he showed me that riff, and we got to just play it together, and, you know, it's just very dear to me, you know, that he actually cared that much just to hang out and not be Mr., you know, untouchable. You know, he was very, very, very friendly to his fans Personable. and loved people, and uh, the fact that he actually came on the bus and, you know, taught me one of his iconic riffs, man, was just, you know, I'll live, live with that forever. I saw them at a club. Me and a friend of mine listened to Cowboys from Hell for probably about eight months, you know, before uh, anybody even knew who the hell they were, you know. And we turned people onto it all the time, and then of course they fell in love with them too. But I saw them at a club, at a club called I think it was Club Three Six Seven in St. Louis, and they were doing warm up shows. And I've actually talked to Vinny about this, and he remembers these shows. They had three warm up shows before Vulgar came out, or whatever. And I saw them there. And you know, I'm like long haired, wearing a leather jacket, it's hot as shit. And I'm all the way up at the front of the, of the stage, you know. And Dime used to have his uh, wah on a, on a line. And, and uh, Grady would run it out and set it down or whatever, and then run back and then Dime would use it or whatever, and then he'd come out and grab it. And, well, I was like right in the front. And I mean, there were probably 20 people on stage the whole time. You know what I mean? With the band, you know, just, but they jump up and just fly off, jump up, fly off, or whatever. And Brady comes out and he sets, sets the wall down and he goes like this to me. And I just reached up and he grabbed his, grabbed his hands. He pulls me up on stage and I just flipped back into the crowd. This is my first stage dive. You know what I mean? It was just so awesome. Uh, that's one of my, one of my Pantera memories. And that's an early memory, you know what I mean? To what that band, where that band was then at a club versus where that band got, you know? And it's a testament to what they did because they followed that timeless uh, art of being able to pick your fans one at a time, one show at a time. They left a mark. They touched somebody, they touched their soul with what they did. And it forever changed my life, you know what I mean? And that's one of those bands, man.